Every day, 12 women leave Ireland to access abortion services in the UK. Who are these women and girls? You might be surprised. The women who have abortions come from all walks and all stages of life. They are women you know. Some already have children. They know what it means to be a mother and say the need to care for their children is the primary reason for deciding not to have another right now. Most Irish women having abortions are in their 20s. Many people mistakenly believe that teens are the group most likely to have an abortion. Teens actually account for fewer than 1 in 10 of all abortions, and most of them are older teens aged 18 and 19. Ireland's abortion laws are among the strictest in the world. Abortion is criminalised in virtually all circumstances in Ireland, including rape, incest, when the fetus will not survive outside the womb, or when the pregnancy is not in the woman's best interest. Abortion is legal in Ireland only when the woman's life is at risk. However, Irish law is so unclear that abortion is inaccessible in all circumstances, for all women, even when a woman's life is at risk. Ireland's restrictive laws do not mean fewer women are having abortions. Since 1980, 150,000 women have left Ireland to access safe abortion services abroad. Forcing women to travel abroad for health services creates unnecessary hardship. Over the last decade, the number of Irish women seeking abortions in the UK has dropped. This is thanks to greater access to contraception and better sex education. But while prevention is crucial, there will always be women who need abortion services. Public attitudes towards abortion have changed a lot in Ireland. 79% of the population believe there are situations in which abortion should be available in Ireland. Irish women don't want sympathy. They just want access to health services in their own country.